Hi there, this is Mama Sue, and we are going to make a bear, beautiful pair of earrings today. This is the earrings we're going to make, and I'm going to put that little twist in the, in the front. We're going to make them with a little um, uh, long pearl and a, and a little bitty crystal down on the end. Then we're going to put that little twist right there, just for a little added beauty. Okay, let's get started with this. Let me show you what you need. You're going to need, this is about an 18... Um, gauge wire, it, but it's real soft metal. If you notice, it's real soft. Then we've got two of these. It's gonna, this, these, these two are going to be for the crystals that hang down on the bottom. We'll do that last. And then we're going to need two of these so that you can uh, um, put wires on your earrings. But if if you don't have wires for your earrings, I have another tutorial that if you have wire, you can make your own um, earring wires. For now, we're just going to do this. Okay, to start with, we're going to start by um, putting our metal right about the middle of these round nose pliers. Then we're going to turn it. See how I'm turning it? Now I have turned it enough that, see there? Turned it enough right there. I think that's enough for now. If you move it a little bit more and turn it all the way, then you'll really have a round circle there. See that round circle there? That's what we want. Now we grab our our other pliers are uh, flat nose pliers. This is the flat nose plier. See how it has a flat on the inside. It's not got any bevels in there. It'll keep you from damaging your your jewelry as much. Now I'm just going to pull that out right there, and I'm going to start wrapping this wire around this wire. I'm going to wrap it maybe two times. One. See here, right here. Two. Oh, that should be enough. Now let me do the same thing to the other one just so that I get that done. Get that part done. And I'll be showing you at the same time. I'm going to put it right around the middle. I'm going to grab hold of it right about the middle of my round nose pliers. Now make sure that you put it in the same place as you did on this or you'll have a different size opening on the top here. So one earring will be longer than the other. So you want to put them in the right place. Now all we're doing is we're bending this around the needle nose pliers. Then we're moving the pliers a little bit and bending it a little bit more. Then I just bend that back. Then you've got that. Now these are almost identical. Now I'm going to grab hold of that with my flat nose pliers and wrap it twice. One, two. There we go. Now there's that one. Now if you notice, both of them are very close in size because I grabbed it right in the same place on this plier. Now if I didn't grab it in the same place up here, I'd have a bigger circle down here I'd have a smaller circle. So if you need to, mark it with a felt pen because it won't hurt this stuff and it'll wear off. Or if you have a special size that you like it, you can mark it permanently. Now I now what I'm doing is I'm just going to clip off that little extra piece. Clip off the little extra piece on this one. There we go. Now I'm just going to put this right back in that hole. Then I'm going to come around and I'm going to, where is it? There's a little bitty piece right there sticking up. And I am just going to flatten that little bitty piece. There we go. That's all I needed on that. 
I'm going to do the same thing with the other one. Now see, I've got just a little bit of an edge there, if you can see that. Yeah, my camera's a little bit on the blurry side. Sorry about that. I got a new one and it just isn't. As good as I thought it would be. Okay, now you're going to feed your big bead. This is the big bead. You're going to feed these on to these wires. Oh. There's one. See there? We're going to do the same thing with the other one. Then they won't keep rolling away from me. That's the only reason I'm really doing these both at the same time. So I want these to stop rolling away from me. <laughs> also, I'm going to do the same thing with these little ones. So that so that my beads don't roll away from me. Here's a we're going to use this this uh, flat nose jewelry pin right here and we're gonna just put put it in there and set it aside for later. We're gonna do get the other one too. See it's just one of these needles. It kind of looks like a straight pin but it's in the jewelry craft section and you can get oh probably about 350 or something like that for three three four dollars. So you can get quite a few for the money. Or you can use your own wire and just make a round tip. I can. I have another tutorial that shows you how to use your own stuff. Your own wires and make your own stuff. Make your own earring wires and everything. Even bracelet wires. <clears throat> so you can always go that route too. Anyway, what we're going to do is now we're going to make a circle here at the top. But I want you to go in the same direction as this piece down at the bottom. Uh, I mean, the it's 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 a flat this way. So I want to make sure that I turn my wire in the direction that that this is, so that it's pretty much the same. Now I'm going to go up about midway, the same as I did down at the bottom. I've got it right in the middle of the flyer. You see, I want it about the same. And I'm going to push it all the way against the pearl. See? Now I'm just going to bend this thing, either front ways or back ways, whichever is easiest for you. This time I'm going to pull it backwards. I think it's easier for you to see. Now see how I just put it sideways? Now I'm going to move my pliers to the, to the top. I'm moving my pliers. I took my pliers off. I'm going to put it back in there, but I'm going to put it right where that bend is. See where the bend is? I'm going to put the pliers right there where the bend is. And it and it stops like right where um, right where I bent it because that's because uh, my pliers were underneath there before, so it's the same size. Now I'm just going to roll this around over the top. See how I'm rolling that over the top? Then I'm going to move my pliers just a little bit like that and then finished, finish rolling it. See how it went all the way around? Now I'm going to take my pliers off. Now if I want to make sure that I get these exactly the same, at this point I could stop this one, which I will for now just so that when you get uh, good at this, you can make it the same size regardless. But when you're learning how to do it, it's easier to do the two at the same time. Now, I had it like this. Now I'm going to roll it in the other direction. It really doesn't matter which way you do it. I'm just showing you some people think it's easier going this way. Some people think it's easier going the other way. See how I went like that? Now I'm going to pull this up. Just, oops. I'm down like this and I'm going to pull my plier up to here. I loosened it 
I pulled it up. Now I'm going to go in the opposite direction. I went that way. Now I went that way. Now I'm going to go in the opposite direction and pull this over. Like that. Then I'm going to move my pliers up. And I'm going to finish going around that circle. See how I finished going around the circle? Now let's see how close those are. I just want you to get an idea of when you're doing that and, and how that's how you're getting them the same size and stuff. Now see how close those are? If you stop right there when you're doing these earrings and do them at the same time, you're going to find you get them closer to the same size. Now we're going to wrap the wire around. So I am going to put my neat, my um, flat nose pliers right here. Let me move these out of the way. And I'm going to start wrapping my wire around as close as I can to the top. You can pull with a little bit of force, but this wire is pretty soft. So um, it's, a, it's a nice one to use. It's easy to twist. Now this is my second time going around. And my third time going around. Now see, I went around three times there, and you can see how it is right now. Now it's going to start building up, and it's going to build around the bead. At this point, it's going to start building around my pearl. Now see how that's starting to go it's starting to overlay and I'm just letting it lay right on top of I'm just letting it keep laying on top of the one roll before and I'm still going and still going now see how that's making such a nice cap just rolling it and keeping it right next to each other keep it smooth you want to make sure one's in front of the other. And at this point, I can stop here because I can make a real nice curl right there um, if I want to. Or I can go around one more time and just make a little curl. I think I'm going to make a little bigger curl just so that you can see the difference with this piece of, with this leftover piece right here. But what I'm going to do to start with is I'm going to go back to, now see how the, it's a little, I just want you to see both sides. See? It doesn't have to be perfect. See, mine's not perfect either. But, that's how you do that. Now I'm going to do the other one just so that we can make them even. Because when you are learning how to do this, um, the best way you can make them even is doing one at a time. And just following the steps with each earring. Just following the steps. Now we're going to do the same thing with this one. I'm going to grab onto it with my flat nose, my flat nose pliers. And I'm going to stay close to the top. I'm going to stay close to the top right here, right up there. I'm going to stay as close as I can to the top because I want it to roll down into a nice even roll. Now what did I go? Three wraps? I don't remember. Now let's see where we are right now. Well that's looking pretty close. Let me get a hold of that again. Now it's going to start making the hat for it. It's going to start making that little cover for the top now. But we're not going to pull it tight at this point because we want it to lay on the outside of the bead. See, as we go, it's laying right on the outside of the bead because we're not pulling it and, and twisting it and stuff. We don't want to do that. We want to just let it move on its own and let it line up on its own. Now, let's check this out. Now we've got two 
nicely done. Let me let me pull this one in just a little bit more. I think that's close enough because I cut the wires about the same size. That's close enough. Now, let's check the size of these wires. I got close. I just don't know how close I got. Oh, and if you'll notice, I, I did these opposite directions when I did those. And it was because when I was bending those wires over my, uh, my needle nose wire, I went one... I turned one in one direction with the wire when I was putting that on there. I, I turned, I'll show you at the at, after the end, to, I'll show you what I did there. Now I am going to make this, the little decoration right now. Now what I'm doing is I'm grabbing a hold of that little tip there and I'm turning it. Now it's touching, it's now touching the other side. Once it's touching the other side, I grab my flat nose pliers and I let my flat nose pliers do the rest of the work. Well, I think it's already done enough work. Okay, at this point, I can either turn it, I don't really like it in this direction, so I'm going to turn it around to this direction because I think it's more de decorative. All you have to do is take your pliers and your pliers can do the change for you. Now, oop, I can't get a hold of it. Hang on a second. Let me get a hold of that. Okay, now I'm pulling this down where I want it. I want my decoration to end up. And there's what we've got so far. See there? Now I pulled it down with my finger to get it where I wanted it. And I think it looks pretty right there. Now some people like to put a little um, dab of glue under there. I don't think it's, I, I think it's, it's um, unnecessary. Um, and besides, sometimes it'll ruin your bead. So I think you're better off just putting it like that. And if it, uh, and if you keep them on a rack or keep them in a jewelry box, it's not gonna it's not gonna get messed up anyway. It's and you know how to make it. <laughs> okay, let's get the other side. We get a hold of that that tip. We just turn it enough to touch the other side. Okay, I think I'm touching. See there? Then I'm going to grab it with my knee, my flat nose and I'm going to twist away from me. As I twist away from me, the metal is rolling up on on itself. See how that's rolling up? I don't know if you can see that, but see the roll in there now? Now you're just going to do that until you're around the same size as this one here. Probably a little overboard there. See how cute that is? Now, now all you got to do is lay this down. Now I am pushing down on it and pushing up at the same time. I push down and I pushed up until I got it just where I wanted it. See there? Very pretty. And then here's the other one. Now I have them going in opposite directions. I'm going to show you how I got them in opposite directions in just a moment. But let's get the bottom piece on and we'll go from there. Here's the bottom piece. I'm going to show you how to make those uh, those winding parts making those beads hook up. Now, 
learning how to make what I'm going to show you right now will make it where you can make things like this and put them together as bracelets. So I want you to keep that in mind. Uh, I wouldn't put this kind of a design on a bracelet because on a bracelet it could catch on something. Earrings it's fine, but bracelets that'll catch unless you want to go all the way over to the other side and wind it around the other side you know so that it just has a line across with the metal like you're wrapping a bead now on this one I'm gonna show you how to connect these and and the way this connects is the way you make bracelets now I am gonna just grab a hold of this down low because this is a small bead and I don't want the the uh, circle overwhelming so I am going to start down here low and I'm going to want to make sure I do the other bead the same place as I do this one. Now I'm going to bend down like that. See how I bent that down? Or let me even take that off and show you. See how I bent that down? It's just I just bent it straight over. Now I'm going to put my right round nose pliers in here. Oop, I want it down low though. I don't want a big hole there. I mean, I don't want a big circle. I'm going to hold on to that and I'm going to wind it the opposite way now to the other side. Just like that. Then I'm going to move my, my pliers. All I did was move it up and I'm going to finish making the circle. Now there's the circle. Now I want you to make your other one before you go on to finish this circle because you want this to be the same size because you'll have the same problem with with one earring being longer than the other if you get these the wrong size because these are the danglies that are going to hang down at the bottom. So we're going to make another one of those right now. Here's the other one. and I'm going to try to show you this slowly so that you get this. I'm grabbing it right about where I grabbed it on the other one. Remember when I made the other one? I put it right about here. Right there on the, I just put it just in a little bit on that needle nose. I bent it over sideways. Just like that. See how that's just bent over and it's still on my, on my pliers. And then I'm just moving the pliers up to the top of that wire. And then I'm going to move the, the wire. It's going to go in the opposite direction over it to make the circle. Just like that. Now I'm going to move it up just a little bit so I can finish making my circle. There's my circle. Now let's see if our circles are at least close. Uh-oh, they're a little bit different. Now I did this a little like this on purpose because I want you to see that this at this point can be fixed. See how one's just a little bit bigger than the other? Right now I can fix that. I can stick my needle nose pliers back in that circle before I wind it. Stick it back in there. Get it to that place stick my needle nose pliers, I mean my round nose pliers in there, put it right where that it should be in there and made that hole just a little bit bigger. Now I'm going to do the same thing with this other one just to make sure that I have these the same now. Now this one's a little big. The other one was a little small, this one was a little big. Okay, I'm just pulling that a little firmer just to make sure that I got that in the right place. Now I'm going to try them next to each other again and see what we got. Now that's much better. See how close they are to each other. 
Now when we put our round nose pliers in there, we can wind that wire, and that wire will turn out the same length on both sides. So I'm going to stick this right in here. I'm, I'm going to do it, do it, do the winding right on these needle nose pliers to keep that, just to keep that small. I like doing it better on this when I'm, when I'm making small items like this. Bigger items, I like to grab it with my flat nose pliers. Small items, I like to leave right on here. Then my hole stays the same size. Okay, I'm going to stay as close to the top as possible as I'm rolling. See how I'm staying as close to the top as I can? I'm going to roll it again. Ooh, it looks like it's going to take four rolls. Yes, it did. It took four rolls. That's where we are. Now I'm going to do the same thing with the other one. I'm going to put it on my pliers. I'm going to try to roll it as close to that top area as possible, right there. So here I go. Keep it up at the top. One. Remember, we want it to be the same as the other side. Two. See? Three. four. Boy, that one barely went in there, but the thing is, is it worked. See? It went four times. And that's what it had to do. Now, if we look at these, we'll see that, that they're about the same. Very close to the same. Now what I want to do is clip off that excess wire that I'm hanging on to right now. And I made a boo-boo. <laughs> I did something I forget to do sometimes, but that's okay. You'll just learn how to do these better. Let me get a couple more wires. I always have these handy because it's so easy to forget to connect those. I was supposed to have connected it to the bottom here before I wound it up. So now I'm just going to quickly do it now that you've seen how to do it. Now I'm just going to quickly do it. I'm going to cut this off and try it again. Ah, and those came out so good. You could always use a, a ring and put it on with a ring, but I don't want it any longer than it is. I like how I like where it lands right now. So I want to make sure that and I wanted to show you how to put that on like bracelets so that you know how to make so you know how to connect different pieces of bracelets without buying rings and stuff. This way you don't have to buy all that extra stuff. And you can uh, get your rings made. I'll get this done quickly for you. See, I'll put that on there like that. Now, ah, let me just show you again. Because that's something you got to get used to. Now, I didn't put that on very far. But this time, this time I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to make them as I go. Now, I bent it down. Now, I'm moving my, my pliers up. And I'm rolling this back over the other way. Then I'm moving it up a little bit and finishing that roll. Once I get to that place, I'm just going to put it back on the pliers, take it off and put it back on, stay as close as I can to the top and roll it. One, two, three. And well, this time it's only going to be three, so I'm going to do that the same way. Oh, there you there's where you've got to watch it that's right where you got to watch it right there i'm trying to show you something else and 
I almost did the same thing. When you get your, wait a second, let me show you. It's easier just to show you. When you get your wire, here it is. Put it on there. Bend it over. Bring it up. Twist it over. Move your wire, your your um, pliers a little bit. Right there. Right there is where I always make a mistake, because right at this point. You have to put that on this piece like you're connecting bracelet pieces together. Because then it'll slide right onto your, your little thing. Then you do your wrapping. But so many times when we do that, we forget. <laughs> As you see, I forgot twice. But none of us is perfect. One, two, three. It still came up three, so that's nice. And then I'm going to cut off that extra. Just like that. Then I'm going to get my pliers. I'm going to come down here, and wherever I see just a little piece sticking out, I'm going to make sure I get that little piece stuck down. Where is it? Oh, there it is. Now, I'm just getting that flush with the, with the rest of the wire. It's hard for me to see it because it's small. But I like to get it down nice. Now, if you look at that, that turned out pretty nice. Now let's get the other one. Grab another. Now this time I'm not going to make that same mistake because I because as you see we have learned something today. Make sure you're paying attention. Put the wire put the wire on. Right about there is where I like it on these little ones. Then you're going to push away from you or the other way, whichever works best with your hands, whether you're left or right-handed. Move it up. Pull it over. Move your pliers a little to finish the circle. Now you're ready to roll the wire. One. Oh, no, no you're not. <laughs> Put her on there. Oh my goodness. Now you're ready to roll the wire. One, two, three. Boy, that took some work today. Sorry, guys. But when you're making a bracelet, that's the way you put pieces together. I mean, there's other ways of doing it, too. But this is probably one of the safest, most secure ways of doing it. And then you, you don't lose these bracelets because they're on there for good. You get that piece on there, and it's on there for good. Like, see see what we got? Oops. There we go. We got, we got both of those made. They're both the same size. They're even. And now we're just going to have to put the, the wires on. To put the wires on, when you buy these, these ones in the store, the opening is always on the inside. So here's how your wire is. This side is your outside, faces the world. And this is the side that faces your head or your hair or your ear. This side will be the side that's open. 
it's going to be open right here. See right there where that wire is. It's going to be open right there. So you want to take your flat nose pliers, move this out of the way. Flat nose pliers, you grab a hold of that and you're going to just pull up on it a little. Just, a, just like that, if you can see that. I don't know if you can see it, but I have that wire opened a little bit. Now you do have a front on this. Now when you have an earring with a front, your front has to face the opening so that when you're putting it on, it's going to be in the front of the earring when you put the earring on. See? Like that. And then I'm going to close the wire. I close the wire just about the same way. I pull it down. And then I just move it just a little bit to seat it good in there to make sure it's really pushed up against the earring. And there you go. And there's your earring. Isn't that gorgeous? Now let's go ahead and get the other one made. Let's get the, the wire on it. And then I was going to show you about that. Open that up like that. I wonder if I can show you it, that that's open. It hardly shows, but that's all right. Well, we're you know what I'm you. I hope you know what I'm doing. Now this is I, I'm putting that on the wire, but I had the front facing the wire that I was putting it onto, just so that it comes out the right way when I close it up. Now I'm moving it back and forth to seat it and that's ready. Now we've got two beautiful earrings made up. Now you've got your set made. Now if you don't like where which way it's it's they're laying, if you don't like which way it's laying you can always change that by bending uh, the top wires over closer to the the center or wherever you want that earring to lay so so it's just they just turns out these are just gorgeous when they're done anyway um, I'm gonna show you uh, let me move this stuff out of the way me show you a little bit give you a little extra extra I'm gonna pull these over here I've got some of these you can use regular wires well I, you know I'm gonna use I'm gonna use this really thin nothing wire. This is a really cheap wire. I, just so that you know that you can even do it with cheap wire. This is just cheap craft wire. It's a 24 gauge. Uh, you can buy it from 24 gauge up to I think this one's 18. 18 means it's a thicker wire. 24 means it's a thinner wire. Uh, the bigger the number gets, the thinner that wire gets. But these are soft wires, the craft wire. Now, let's say I wanted to make a bracelet. And I just wanted to put multicolored. I have two beads here, so I'm just going to show you with these two beads. Here's one. And I'm finding another one for you. And here's another one. Now, what I'm going to do, now with this thin wire, you're probably going to want to turn it two times. Uh, you do that little trick that we do here. It is a thin wire. I don't prefer using thin wire on this, but I'm just showing you that you can use it. Now, I am going to turn that a second time. No, I'm going to leave it like, like that because I'm trying to make a bracelet. So, I get it to that point, and then I'm just going to take this wire, and I'm going to wrap. One, two, three. That's, I don't need to go any further than that. Two or three times wrapping it is fine. Then I'm going to cut off this extra piece here. What's nice with this flush cutter is normally I can get that down 
that cut down far enough that you don't even have to do anything else to it. But if I feel a little prickle, I come over and I squash that little prickle down. Just to make sure that it's not going to stick my, especially with bracelets, man, they're going to be on your hand and you don't want to deal with that. Ain't nobody got time for that. Anyway, you're going to take this, put it in the bead, just wrap that bead on there. Then you're going to do the same thing to the other side. Make sure you're lining up with your your bottom circle that they're sh going in the same direction that if it's the flat side you're going to be turning toward the flat side and if it's this way you're going to <laughs> be turning this way you you want to turn the direction of that round circle so now I'm turning it over I'm lifting up to the top like like I showed you before then I'm bringing that wire around the top and then I'm moving the moving it up a little bit and finishing going around it. Now if you have to just turn it a little more. If you if that'll help you get it over there easier. I do that a lot of times. And then you're going to do, do your wrapping. Okay, 1 2 3. I went 3 on that side. It's it's all right with bracelets to be a little over. I like 3 better anyway. I think I only went two on the other side. But these flush cutters cut it really nice. If you can get a pair of those. They're only like, I think they're only like $5 at Walmart. It's not bad. Then you're going to want to squish that little piece down. And I didn't get that little piece. Now you got to remember if there's a, a big hole in your bead, you're probably going to want to use a bigger wire because the, the design of the rolls that you have there will go into the hole of the bead if the bead is too big. Now let's get over to the other one. I'm just going to cut a piece off and show you. Okay, now I'm going to make a, well, is that one pretty big hole? Let me see. That's a pretty big hole. That, that's got, oh, it's got a decent size hole in it. I wish I could show you. Oh, well. I'm going to put it around the middle. I should probably, I just want to make sure that it doesn't, it's not too big because that's a bigger bead. So I'm going to make that a little bigger. Now I rolled it around like I told you before. And, but what do I do now? I want these to be connected. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this bead here that I already pre-made. I'm going to stick it on that wire and pop right through there. And there you go. Now I'm going to put it back on my wire and I'm going to roll it. One, two, three. Some people like to roll it up to five sometimes, you know? It just depends on the person. Now, did you see what I just did? I took the back end of this and I pushed it so that I could push those wires closer together. Sometimes I do that and I don't even realize I'm doing it, but it just looks nicer. Now I just cut off that extra little piece and looky there. You got the start of a bracelet. Let me let me show you. You've got the start of a bracelet there because now it's hooked together. That's hooked together permanently. That's not going to fall off. Uh, even if you catch it on something, that's not going to fall off because you've got those wrapped. The wires are wrapped on both sides. Now let's put the bead on, just like that, and let's make the other side. Now remember, we want to follow the way this wire's going. 
Whichever way that wire is going is the way we're going to turn this wire. So let's make sure we get that in a good place. Okay, there. Now I'm pushing it up toward that wire, just like that. Now I'm going to move my um, my clips here, or my <laughs> my round nose pliers. I move my round nose pliers. Now it's going to go the opposite direction over it. Move my pliers up a little bit and finish finish up going under that. Now I'm going to wrap. Now I now all I can say is row baby row. Oops. Try to keep it up at the top as close as you can. One, two, three. Now I've got a lot of rolls on this one, but I want you to see that when you're making a bracelet out of this stuff, it's not going to matter how many times you roll on this. It matters on earrings. It doesn't matter on bracelets. Now I just cut that off and I want to flatten that little piece that I have on here. Now what you would do, you'd grab another piece of wire. Now this was supposed to be an earring tutorial. Why I get off all the time, I have no idea. <coughs> Remember always, this is my last one. Remember always that when you go get to this point where that, where you have an L kind of, or, or some people will call it a P, if you have it the right direction, but I kind of call it a big L myself, see? Big fancy L. When you get to that point, always hook on your other piece. Ha ah, ah, ha ah. And then you do your winding. Not whining, winding. You can do this if you give it time and you practice. I, it doesn't even take a lot of practice. If you use this soft wire, oh man, it, it's the best stuff to start with. Because the, the, the soft wire is so easy to turn that you're not going to have to fight with it. So it's really a good one to learn on. And then when you get to the heavier wires and the real gold, and, well the real gold is not, not a hard wire. Um, it's just a lot more expensive. It's, it's not real hard. And you can hammer it to harden it. When you hammer these wires, they always get a little harder. Now see there? Now you're ready for another bead. And see how that would look on your, on your wrist? Now that's just hooking cheap craft wire that comes on spools like this. You'll see this in uh, uh, either the jewelry or the craft. Uh, it's in the craft area uh, of Walmart. And you also find this in jewelry stores uh, close to the beads or around the beads. Sometimes it's in the beads. Or you can buy it in um, rolls like this. You can always buy uh, wire in rolls like this. You get quite a bit there. You just get a lot more with that other stuff. This is just a better quality wire here. Um, this one here, because that one has brass inside of it, and then it's coated with silver. But this one here is just a cheap wire. But you know what? I have even used uh, floral wire for, wire for practice. Floral wire is only like 99 cents for gobs of it. And you can practice doing this move here. And it comes in silver and it comes in green. I don't think it comes in any other color, but it comes in silver and green. And it's the same thickness as this. 
And so it's a it's a great thing to practice with. Well, anyway, I'm going to let you go with that, and and I want you to practice that, and I want you to know if if uh, if you understood this, if if it was easy for you to understand, um, please give me a thumbs up there, and if you want updates when I'm I'm putting something else on, um, uh push the subscribe and updates will automatically come to you and it costs nothing anyway there you go and and we did these beautiful earrings today and that's, that's all we were supposed to do but I always kind of go off the wall and show you other things you can do with what you you've got you know just so you have other ideas other things to work with and it can be cheaper for you you know, you could make gifts uh, for Christmas and stuff and save you a lot of money. Anyway, you guys have a great day and God bless you until next time we meet. Have a good day.